welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147. And I have a big box today. Like, it's not even fitting, um, really, in the screen. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think I can get my camera to go any further up to give you a better view. Um, but I did decide to order something from Diamond Art Club. Um, now, it's not the cheapest place to buy from which is fair enough um, and it is in America primarily so shipping and customs can be a bit of a thing to the UK but I did want to be able to do um, an unboxing and work on one of these just to see what the difference is um, you know this is this is what I class as the the high end of diamond painting um, and I wanted to see if it was as good as it seems. Um, there are many unboxings of Diamond Art Club on YouTube um, and you can of course watch as many or as little of those as you want to. Um, but I wanted to, to be able to do sort of a look at some other sellers of diamond painting on this channel um, and also give those people in the UK um, a bit of a bit of information in regards to my journey um, with them. So they did have a sale which is what prompted me to um, find out what they were like. Um, the sale helped help things a, lo a lot um, in relation to their costs. Now I, with being on YouTube and having quite a few followers, I did email them to see whether that was something that they take part in or not due to the cost. They do advise that they don't in the fact of they don't give away paintings just because you do an unboxing, which I completely appreciate. It wasn't what I asked for, but I do completely appreciate that, um, you know, they don't just give away paintings to be reviewed. Um, they do have some members who are on YouTube and spend a bit more. They may give them previews or the odd painting completely up to them. So anyway, I'd still decided I wanted to give them a go. They were kind enough to give me um, a code for 20% off. Um, by adding stuff to my basket and not checking out straight away, I did get emailed a code for 15% off um, to try and I guess to entice me to buy what was in my basket. Um, and then when I did purchase this, I did get a 20% code for my next order. So they're things you may want to bear in mind if you are wanting to purchase from them. Um, so I decided to order two paintings from their sale. Now the sale does show the price in pounds. Um, so they did both show as £25 each. And then shipping. Shipping was over £20, just over £20 for one painting. And it was just over £20 for two, which is part of the reason I decided to get two. Um, I figured I could have a go or have a check out of both a round and a square, um, which would give me some variety in regards to that. So let's get these out of the box. I'm trying not to sort of sneaky peek show you too much so far, but that's what we've got in the box. So the box is now empty. There is no damage whatsoever to the box or indeed to the paintings and by the looks of it we have two types of different designs of these. Uh, they do have the images on the front uh, and I will be showing you them but um, they also have information on the back so it tells you the kit contents. That's in three different languages. Um, they tell you, you know, it's have some time to yourself, leave your worries alone. It also shows you how to follow the instructions um, and some other information in regards to choking hazards and stuff like that. So, so far, packaged beautifully, has arrived exactly as they look like they've been put in the box, which is a good start. Um, 
and in regards to delivery time so I bought these on a Tuesday now it may well have been a Tuesday evening um, but of course there's also a time difference so I bought them on a Tuesday and they were shipped very quickly they were shipped on the Wednesday fantastic they arrived in the UK on the Friday even better however they then seem to sit in customs from Friday and I'm like why are they still sitting there if I have to pay customs let me know um, and they did but by snail mail so I got a slip in the post on Thursday to advise me to pay the customs which I think they should have an option on the tracking to be able to pay the customs release it view it whatever um, they didn't so I paid the customs which was about £20 um, and I paid that on the Thursday when I received it and they were delivered on the Saturday so all in all not too bad could have been with me within a week if it wasn't for the customs hold up but that's not the company's fault um, and I paid a total including shipping of £62.61 for both of these paintings so that's what I got charged the customs on so anyway let's have a look at the paintings I haven't picked which one's going to be first or not um, so this is my first one this one is called Mama Knows and this one is square with AB diamonds so we've got a bit of a side view but hopefully once we get in the box I'll be able to give you a bit of a better view so let's it's all wrapped in like a, a cellophane so I'm just going to see if I can get that started off and we'll get that off and then we can have a look at the rest so we've got some cellophane shrink wrap let's get that off the top and the bottom I've been excited to open these okay so I was trying to work out if it was a lift off lid or if you took it from the top or the bottom and it's either the top or the bottom so we're going to go for the bottom just because I have more space to the left of me than I do to the right and let's get this out so we've got the canvas there is more let's give the box a shake and then we have lots of diamonds and then we have a toolkit now as I say there are many people that unbox these on YouTube um, but this is my first unboxing of one of these so I'm going to have a look at the toolkit comes in a nice little pouch which is good with a little ziplock at the top and to get everything out oh, we have a little boat um, now this is so it's the same size as the smaller white boats it's bigger than the green boats but it is smaller than the other white boats that some companies do but cute size little clear boat we have a blue pen with a single placer we have nice tweezers no branding on them but they're the nice black tweezers we have a pen grip which just goes on the end of your pen and in this case it's blue and blue I don't know if that's always the case or not if I can get it to go on there we go uh, we have two pieces of wax and they are so cute in little hearts that's a nice little touch and then we have some baggies and um, they're quite thin baggies and we have nine baggies in that lot so that's the toolkit and this is classed as a square toolkit it does say on the front so magic applicator um, comfort grip I'm guessing that's the magic applicator wax pad times two a craft tray which is this multiplacer times one it does state that there's a multiplacer but I don't have a multi-placer um, and one set of tweezers. 
so everything but the multi placer is in there but for me I don't use them so I'm not bothered um, I can't get to grips with them at all and then we have the canvas it does seem to be a little bit creased but we'll see what it's like when we get into it and it has diamond art club do what makes you sparkle so it's in its own baggie which does rip but that's fine Move diamonds out of the way. so we do have a divot in the canvas where the diamonds were sat but as far as I'm aware from what unboxings I've seen these canvases will be a lot more forgiving than others so while that just sort of sits there I'm trying to see if I can sort of get it to sit underneath so it rests a little bit um, we do get step-by-step -step diamond painting instructions by Diamond Art Club so it tells you to pe peel the adhesive covering off the pre-printed canvas identify a symbol that you'd like to work on locate the symbol and the corresponding colour on the side identify the bag matching the colour code pour them into the tray shows you how to put the wax on your pen and then using the magic applicator I might have to rename my pens the magic applicator I like that um, to pick up the faceted side of the gem from the craft tray so making sure the flat bits on the bottom place them onto the symbol of the chart and when you finish frame so and then we have um, a visit your online store notice so that's a leaflet that comes in it I do like it when they put instructions not that I need them anymore but it is nice to know a company will put them in for for others um, this canvas ooh, this canvas is very similar to the Timney Arts canvas though it's a little bit more velvety I think or maybe that's just me um, but it does have sparkle inside the actual canvas itself and this is the square one very sticky glue but yeah it does have glitter all the way through the canvas I'm not even sure if the camera's going to pick that up um, we have a legend of 39 colours all the way down the bottom and we do have it on the top as well so we have it across the top with the picture and then we have it across the bottom and it says do what makes you sparkle across the top and then to show you the image a little bit easier than the box that's the image and it's called mama knows best and i think it had one or two a b I did make sure i got ones with a b in because i wanted to see not only what their square diamonds were like which can be the diamonds that many companies have trouble with um, but I also wanted to see what their the square AB was like so having a look you can see the effect of the wrinkles that are on the top cover sheet on the glue but they don't affect actually placing the diamonds it's like there's a little imprint in it and it is already sitting nicer than it was to turn it over the back is immaculate these are like just the way the canvas is sat there is no puckers in this there's no solid creases at all like just one pull and it's gone and it feels so it does feel so soft and that seems to pretty much flatten that canvas out so I am just going to give it a roll just and just make sure I've done this edge as well and then let's flatten it out again The symbols are so so clear let me zoom you in I'm only just getting this painting really 
on my desk. So all these wrinkles are just the top plastic cover. They are not the actual diamond painting itself. Let's see if we can pull it back that far that I can let you see in the camera. In fact, let's, let's make this easier for myself. So this is up in the top corner. You can see all these creases here. And if I can get hold of the plastic, and pull it back, you see, creases are gone. It is not the canvas at all. And the sparkle does continue through the canvas. I can see it on some of the paler colours. Not that it'll matter once I put the squares on, but you can see it. But yeah, very, very clear. Looks like we're gonna have quite a bit of 310 to contend with. So that should be fun. So let's zoom you back out. Let's have a look at some of these diamonds. Look, isn't she gorgeous? Let me see if I can get, just move my diamond painting pencil case out of the way and I can sort of get it more. That is pretty much the whole image in shot, bar a smidge. Uh, you are getting pretty much the full effect, even if you have to tilt your head. I do apologise, I might need to sort out a better setup for very big pictures. Oh, I can see an AB. Now, I can't remember how many ABs there were. It may well have only been one. It does look as though it's only one. But let me find the opening. It's there. Okay, crinkle alert. Okay, crinkle stopped. Oof. So we look to have, so we have a lot of 498, which is a red, and then they do tend to join these up. So we've got some 939s. They look good quality from what I can see. So let's show you the colours that we have. So we have some 939, 300. 783, the 666, 938, 436 and 437. So they're all numbered in DMC, which is good when it comes to spares. Oh, 400. That was one of the colours I needed from heaven and earth, along with the lovely 3371. Got some nice reds and burgundies, nice bright yellow, and then for the next batch, oh, not a lot of 415 and 318, so you can see these are done by weight. These don't have anywhere near as many diamonds in as the other colours did. Oh, there's some AB, can you see? In fact, there is more than one AB. So there's an AB in square, which is 136, which is a downwards arrow. So it looks from here like we have it just going round the dress, like a lining of the dress at the bottom. That is the only place that we have that. So you see this dark line of black? it's next to it. That's where we have this 136 as an AB. And then we do have 130 as an AB, which is a yellow. Let's have a look. What number did I say? 130. Okay, so that's the number right at the top. That is also an AB. Um, and that is classed as number one. And to move stuff out of the way, again, this is sort of a little bit of a lining around her herself, just on this outside edge, a little bit on the inside. We have a little bit at the top of her dress here. We have a little bit up here on the dragon, and we do have a little bit up the top here. So we've got a few little spots at the top, and then a bit more up the top here as well. So... Looks like it's a bit in her hair slash the background slash her dress, but that's pretty. Um, and then to the normal colours, 
Oh, we do. We have three ABs. So we have one for one, which is a white AB. So that is classed as number two. So that is um, around the top of her face, in her hair. Yeah, there's quite a few bits of that in her hair. And there is actually a little bit of it here in her dress as well before it goes into the blue ones. So that's pretty. They are nice. It's like they've got an iridescent coating on them. And then we're back to normal. I like that blue, 597. So there's quite some earthy tones in that in this one. We've got some more 939s there. And then of course we have the 498s that I had out before. Oh, and then there's more. We have 803. Lots of 310. Lots more of 310. Lots more of 310 and some more of 310 and then some 312. So me thinks there's going to be a lot of 310 in this one. How many bags did we get? Two, four, six, seven bags. Now I know they're done by weight but that's a lot of black. Okay so let's have a quick look at the size of this just for anybody that is interested this I say this was in the sale so it is an older design but seeing as I've never had any of them it's not old to me so I'm going purely on the area where you diamond paint and it is 83 and a half centimeters and then it is this way 47 centimeters so it's a little bit of a weird sizing but doesn't she look good even here even before you've put any diamonds on it if it wasn't for the clear plastic cover having the creases this would just look nice on its own wouldn't it and it's laid flat already you know there's there's not going to be any problem with that as I say the canvas has got a very nice very nice edging um, it seems as though they sort of do that edging after the the plastic's been put on because I had to sort of pull it out of it um, but the symbols are so clear I mean they're upside down just because I'm pulling it up close to the camera but we've got numbers, we've got symbols, we've got a mixture, but they're all really, really clear. So I am actually really looking forward to doing this one. I am looking forward to it. So let's roll that one up. <clears throat> and this is gonna be a longer video because I have two. And the next one is round. So to pull this one over, this one, I'm not sure if you can see, and I will show you again the image the right way up, but this one is off to Neverland. And I'm sure that my daughter will definitely want to look at this one. My eldest is a, likes her Peter Pan, she does. She's a primary school teacher, so it suits her well, but she loves Peter Pan. So this is off to Neverland, and this is round with AB. And it does actually say the size on the front, so let's have a comparison. So this one said it was 47 by 84. So if I remember rightly, across was a little bit less than that. Oh no, it wasn't. I'm selling porkies. 47 was the actual size of the drill area. Um, it was 83 and a half long. So, Lord of Maths, you ran that up. It's the way it's supposed to happen. So, happy with the sizing of that one. So, let's have a look at the round one. So, I'm just going to tip this one out. So, if we open it from the right end, we get the diagram. 
So my memory card saved. I thought I was going to get to be able to unbox this um, and then restart, but it didn't. Um, so anyway, all I've done is tipped a few bits out the box. I'm not sure which ones it caught, but we've got the diamonds. We've got the canvas. And then we have what's classed as the round tool kit. So this has a magic applicator, which is the new name for our pen, um, a comfort grip, two wax pads, a craft tray and a multi-placer. And I can tell you already, this one does have the multi-placer. So we do have a multi-placer, it's a three-placer. We have the pen, we do have a grip, blue one. We have two of the very cute pieces of heart wax. We have some baggies and we have the clear tray. So that one actually has baggies as extra than what it says on the front, but that does contain everything. No tweezers because it's a round one. So let's have a look. Now this one is in a clear bag, which is a bit different. Still says the same on the front, uh, but it doesn't come in the opaque bag. But let's, let's get in it. Okay, so these bags aren't reusable. I definitely want to get to have a look. Let's move the diamonds out the way for the moment. And this one, was this one bigger? So this one was 55 by 77 compared, compared, compared to 47 by 84. So it's not as long, but it is a little bit wider. So I'm going to get as much as I can of this in shot. This is tighter wound than the other one. But oh, look at that already. Let me get that tucked underneath. So we've got Peter Pan up here on a little bit of a moon. And then I'm guessing this is, I don't know if it is Wendy. Maybe it is. Oh, we've got a couple of things tucked in there. We'll have a look at that in a moment. And then it goes down. So it's a little bit shorter, but a little bit wider. Got all these gorgeous clouds and then beautiful flowing dress we still look like we've got quite a bit of 310 because we do have sort of a stained glass effect going on and to pull it up a bit further here we've got like a sun up here and as i say i'm not sure if that is a moon but it's got that sort of look oh very nice so this one again has the printed list on both parts of the canvas feels really really soft and to show you the image the right way up a little bit clearer there it is it's like he's saying come on come into Neverland we have 45 colors on this one 45 colors I'm not sure how many AB because in this instance the AB do have colour codes, but we're going to have a look at the diamonds now anyway. Let's just, I'm just going to roll these. All it seems to be is if I roll the, the sort of each end back a little bit, it tends to then sit. So this one was a little bit tighter rolled than the other, but I imagine if I laid these out and just put something on the ends of them for a very short period of time they would flatten out because already all I've really done is rolled it back on itself and it's flat back of the canvas is gorgeous no problems at all so let's have a look I can see one AB already As far as I remember, I got them with a couple of ABs because I only got my first painting with any ABs um, a few days ago from Timney Art. So I've been wanting to try AB diamonds, but again, they've all got the DMC number printed on. They are in like single bags as, as much as you can, and they do have Diamond Art Club on the back. So let's have a look. Let's just start unraveling. 
So we have some dark brown, 3371. Some greens and some blues. This one's got a lot more brighter colours. Definite. Oh, there's an AB. So that's classed as number 141. I don't think that's a DMC number, but uh, they've given it their own number. Why not? It may even be a DMC number. Don't hold me to it. Um, so number one. So it looks like we have quite a bit of this coming down here and round her arm and her face. We've got a little bit going up Peter Pan's arm as well. A little bit around his face. Do we have it anywhere else? There is a few little bits down the bottom here in her dress, in the bubbles of her dress. There's a little bit over here in... I, can't, I, I don't quite know what that is, but there, there is a bit of it round here as well. Um, there is some of it over here. Oh, you can't even see that. So to lift it up, there is quite a bit of that number one in here. There is another colour as well, but there is a few bits of the number one here. So it looks like it's quite widely spread across the painting. There is a little bit in the far top right corner as well. Um, and the odd little bit on these clouds. So they have scattered the AB around the painting, but that's what they look like in round if the camera will pick it up. Just drills with an iridescent coating for a little bit more sparkle. Uh, and then to carry on to the normal, the diamonds are all looking really, really nice. I've got some nice greens and turquoise. Get them to unravel from each other. Some hot pinks and some reds and some lilacs. More hot pink. Only a little bit of 939 in this one. So that's the first strip. And we've got some brown, 869, eight, quite a bit of that one. 832. Oh, black, 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 black. But only four this time. And it does have that stained glass effect as well. So, uh, nice lime green. And then a brown and then this looks to be the one that's not as many of each of the colors they're in smaller bags and the further down the line you get the less diamonds there are in the bags so I've got a few different colors in here quite a few bright colors bring a nice pop of color maybe it is only one AB diamond in this one we'll see Got quite a few purples, some blues, some oranges, pale pink. Yeah, so there is only one AB diamond colour in this one, and that is the white. But I still think it's going to look so pretty. Um, so yeah, um, cost me approximately just over £80 for two paintings when you add it all up um, <coughs> so yeah just over £80 for two paintings including the shipping the customs that I got charged and that was with a painting that was on sale so both of these paintings were in the sale they should have been 40 something pounds each and I think I paid £25 each before I got charged shipping and customs. Um, they are really, really nice. It will be good to see what they're like when they're done. Um, but if you fancy treating yourself, they're really, really nice. Um, but if you don't have the money, then it is quite a bit of a big leap um, to get them. I don't think I'll be buying them often uh, but I may treat myself every now and then just for a little bit of luxury. But I'll let you know when I've done them or while I'm doing them um, whether they are far superior or not. But I'm quite excited that they're here um, and to see what they're like. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.
just realised I forgot to tell you what I'd pulled out of that diamond painting. <clears throat> I've just been tidying up and trying to put stuff away and I've just realised. Um, so they have, this is a little bit different, this is the reason I wanted to show you. Um, so we do have two of these leaflets, they're exactly the same as the square one. Um, <clears throat> which I went through but this one does also have a piece of paper that shows and it's actually on sticker paper I'm getting excited already um, of the image and the key and as I say it looks to be on sticker paper which it is which means I've got pre-ready labels for this one. So I'm rather excited about that. So I am gonna pop the diamonds away for this one. Um, and I am gonna use an A4, one of these bags. Um, my dad gave me a few A4 ones. Uh, Cause normally I'll use the A5. But these paintings are just a bit too big for that. So just to show you, I'm just going to, how many did I get across? About four. So I'm just going to fold them, sort of concertina them, back in two on themselves. So I'll try and make sure that I keep that. Well, maybe it wasn't four. Anyway, I'll figure that out. Concertina on itself, in the baggie. Big ones in as well. And then finally, I'm going to pop the toolkit in with it as well. You can save with this one. And that is ready and all my diamonds safe. And then all I've done is I've popped the actual paintings themselves just back in their boxes. I know which ones they are then, and it's just got the canvas in this. So nothing's going to get in this way. So yeah, just wanted to add that bit on the end. Um, but thank you again so much for watching. I'll speak to you all again soon.